Hello, uh, today we're going to talk about knee arthrocentesis. Uh, I will say that the general approach for arthrocentesis of any joint is roughly the same, but today we're going to discuss and practice knee arthrocentesis. First thing you want to talk about is your equipment that's required, and so uh, you're going to need towels or sheets that go under the knee that puts the knee in about 20 to 30 degrees of knee flexion. You want to make sure you have sterile gloves ready, an 18 to 20 gauge needle with a large syringe that you're going to use to aspirate, chloroprep or betadine for skin preparation to cleanse the area, a 5 to 10 milliliter syringe with lidocaine and a 25 gauge needle for your numbing agent. Um, you may need uh, lab tubes or culture bottles if you want to send it off to the lab. You want to make sure you have a bandage or a band-aid. Um, and if you're going to use an ultrasound, um, you're going to use gel, typically sterile gel, with an ultrasound cover if available. You could do an arthrocentesis with ultrasound or without ultrasound. Uh, we'll practice both in the sim lab. So uh, with ultrasound, that's typically an approach in the suprapatellar recess, so above the patella, underneath the quadriceps tendon, and above the level of the prefemoral fat, you'll find the suprapatellar recess. Sometimes the patient has an effusion, which makes it easier access. Um, without ultrasound, um, there's several approaches. Typically, it's going to be lateral, mid-patellar approach, which we'll uh, demonstrate shortly. Here's an arthrocentesis uh, demonstration um, that's landmark-based. Um, they have several markings on the patient. Um, with the anatomy outlined in pen or the skin. Um, they have several access points. We're going to go over the mid patellar approach. So the way it's done is you insert the needle about three to four milliliters below the midpoint of the patella. You guide the, the needle towards the intercondylar notch or the femur. You can milk the effusion if needed to um, gain easier access. Sometimes you're going to use a hemostat if you need to um, screw off the syringe and insert another syringe or use a different culture bottle for uh, sending off to a lab. In terms of using ultrasound, this is going to be the uh, suprapatellar approach. It's done laterally. So you're going to look at the knee uh, first and uh, longitudinal to the quadriceps tendon <clears throat> and then you're going to turn on short axis for your approach. This is an ultrasound picture showing um, uh, aspiration of a knee effusion. The dark fluid is, is the effusion that you're aspirating. You could see the needle entr entrance into that um, area of fluid. You have the uh, quadriceps tendon above here which is hyperechoic this hypo, hypoechoic uh, area of the fluid. And then you have below, here's the femur, and there's some prefemoral fat. So your fusion is going to be typically in this area that you're going to aspirate. After the procedure, um, you know, one thing to consider is are you doing an injection or not doing an injection? That depends on your clinical and judgment and what the presentation is of, of the patient if you want to do some type of injection, such as a steroid injection. You know, make sure the spleen is, is clean. Um, you're going to apply a bandage or a band aid. And then if uh, you're transferring it, it over to lab tubes or culture bottles, uh, making sure that gets sent off to the lab. And then you're going to provide the patient with post operative instructions.